Come with us to Glacier National Park. Uh, it was really steep and scary and windy and I think. It was awesome looking over and then the river flowing at the bottom. We have eight pathfinders and seven staff with us, and we're from Pocatello, Idaho. We saw a little black bear cub off the side of the road. And then a couple of us were looking a little harder for some stuff, and we saw a couple brown bears. Now, let's get a nesting. Yeah, it's just so neat to get together. The last time that we got together as a union was over in Astoria. That was in 1996. And my guess. My guess is that a lot of you weren't there, uh, and that's why it's important to do these big events. We as leaders are always so excited about these events. And the reason we get so excited about these events is not just because it's so much fun to get here, and not just because it's so exciting to see the, the park, which has just been incredible, but we really get excited as leaders in your church because we know that events, at events like this, is where decisions for Christ are made. In fact, we know as we study youth ministry that over 80% of young people make decisions for Christ before the age of 18. And when they make decisions for Christ, we know that they make them at summer camps. We know that they make them at Bible conferences. We know that they make them at Pathfinder events and Pathfinder Camp Breeze. And so we get excited about these kinds of get-togethers. Finders, order, fun. I knew who Jesus was. I watched the other thieves that they were put down on the crosses, struggling like animals to get away. And then I saw Jesus. He actually laid down on the cross. He actually stretched out his hands and put them in place, ready for the cruel, torturous nails. And I remembered his words. I lay down my life myself. No one takes it. Welcome everybody to this campfire of the Tacoma Hispanic Club, Morning Star. Bienvenidos todos a, este, a esta fogata del Club de Conquistadores de Tacoma Hispana, Morning Star. Come with us to Glacier National Park. My name's Clyde Phillips, uh, Area Coordinator for Greater Seattle. Four of the clubs from the Washington Conference rented a Hessel Great bus to come over here. They got to the gate and the park ranger said $200. And the reason they were charging $200 is because it was a commercial bus. So told them it's not a commercial bus, it's privately hired, we're a non-profit organization working with kids. And the park ranger said $200. Didn't have time, he just was rather curt. And so they went in and turned around and I met up with them and they were making other plans and I told one of the people, I said, come on, let's go up to the park office. So we went up to the park office and the very nice attendant uh, receptionist there, name of Billy, didn't get her last name, uh, listened to our story and they wrote a letter saying to the gate people that they were to present saying that it's not a commercial bus everybody under 17 was free and it was only five dollars a person for adults to get in so there was probably 10 or 12 adults on there and that was something they could handle so they were able to go ahead and go into the park at, uh, at a reasonable fee hi we're from the athena pathfinder club we came up here to see the glaciers, but we can't find any. <laughs> so we're, we're looking at the river, which is really pretty. We have all four kids here, and we have five more Pathfinders at home who are preaching for us. And we are doing uh, Hope for the Homeland in our church, and nine of our Pathfinders are speaking. And these are four of them that are speaking. This is Josh Wilson. And Josh, what are you speaking on? Uh, I'm speaking on death and what happens after the grave. And Joe? I'm speaking on baptism. Jesse? And I'm speaking on the millennium. Talisha? I'm speaking about the change of the Sabbath. We went up going to the Sun Road on Thursday. And scary and 
windy and everything. One of my pathfinder, we thought that he's just joking, that he's scared of heights, and also we're just kind of laughing, you know, and the whole everybody has having fun, and then later on we noticed that he's already crying, and tears came from his eyes, and so we he transferred to the middle of the car, and then we passed through that weeping wall uh, up in the mountain there on the road, and. We said, well, you're not the only one weeping. There's a wall weeping in here. So he kind of start laughing and smiling. And oh, we are the Pathfinder Strong. The servants of God are we. Oh, can you they sign this? My name is Maria. I'm from the um, Blue Mountain Pioneers. And um, can you sign my passport? A message to tell to the world. It's about the signatures and yeah, <laughs> developing more new friends and stuff. There's so many kids on the trail today, and I said, yeah, there's a lot of Pathfinders here. Pathfinders, what is that? And I explained to her what Pathfinders were, and I told her that they were an outreach of the Adventist church. And all of a sudden her face lit up, and she said, my mom was an Adventist. I went to an Adventist church once. and. We went from there all the way back down to the parking lot. She goes, they, they're they so healthy, they're so such fast hikers. She was impressed with them. She goes, you guys have such a health message. Anyway, all the way back down to the, to the parking lot, question after question after question about what Pathfinders were. And she was so amazed that they were a part of the Adventist church. She had never made that connection before. When she gets back home, she's going to look up her Adventist church again. Our kids, by their being happy by their being healthy by being who they were were preaching a message they need to know that that was happening even when they didn't realize it just their demeanor good morning i'm gary morgan mission pilot i fly with search for one and working with adventist world aviation to promote mission emphasis and aircraft trying to generate some interest here with the Pathfinder group. Uh, we'd like to see a lot of new young mission pilots here in the near future. And I'm from the Airborne Eagles Pathfinder Club in Washington. It was kind of cool. I got to see the um, area with, that we're camping in. I got to see my, camp, my tent and stuff. It was neat. And then he showed us uh, how the, each of the controls make the, the, plane, the plane move and stuff, and then he made it go like a roller coaster. It was kind of fun. and I'm from Spokane Valley Trailblazers. There's a mountain goat! My favorite part of camp was when we got to go hiking and I got to see a ton of mountain goats. I probably saw about five or six. That we're the mountain rangers. We went rafting on Thursday and it was wild. Whoa! Everybody got soaking wet. We had 60 mile an hour winds blowing us upriver. They, they, they kept us, they us up the street. Yeah, we went down the rapids and that's where we went back up. We couldn't paddle our way down. The wind finally eased off and we got down the river. We praise you that we've made it safely, that we are settled in, and that tonight, uh, even as the sun was setting, uh, uh, the Sabbath blessings have already begun. And now we want to commit this program and the rest of this camp as well to you. We pray your Holy Spirit to bless us tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. If you've not made a decision for Christ, I just want you tonight to be thinking about that. Basically, repent just means you say, I'm sorry, God, I'm sorry. And if you're really sorry, God knows it, just like Jesus knew how sorry I was.
and be baptized. Oh, I'm an expert on baptism. I saw that when a person is put down under the water, that really what that symbolizes, it symbolizes that God is going to take all that bad stuff and He's going to bury it. Wouldn't it be good if everything bad, you could just bury it, dig a big hole and bury it. That's what it means. But praise the Lord that you don't stay under the water, you come up to a new life. And hey, listen to this, if there's somebody here today that knows that you haven't been baptized and you should be baptized, you just raise it a bit higher right now. God hears your praise and God claims that promise. Pathfinders is all about finding the path.